According to this report from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, sea level is expected to rise on average as much as a foot in the next 30 years. The last time it rose that much, it took an entire century. As storms typically are what causing flooding now, or at least strong winds, that's going to be replaced with just your typical tides. William Sweet with NOAA says that means deeper and more widespread flooding. It's, it's largely climate change. I mean, there are two main reasons why the ocean is rising. Uh, two thirds of it is melt of ice, whether it's glaciers, Greenland or Antarctica. A third of it is thermal expansion. There is a silver lining. He says it's us using the data to impact our behavior, something city leaders here in Alexandria have already done, especially when it comes to places like this, the waterfront. We're uh, about to launch a, uh, a, a multi, <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollar uh, flood mitigation effort on the waterfront, uh, really designed uh, both to raise uh, the, the, the promenade here, to raise the level, as well as provide additional places uh, for water to go. Mayor Justin Wilson also says a lot of the new development here was built with climate resiliency in mind from distance to the water to the height of the buildings. 7 News has been tracking the increase of flooding in the DMV, specifically Alexandria, but solutions stretch beyond the water. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, electrifying our bus fleet and our, and our uh, vehicle fleet, um, making changes to, to buildings to make sure they're more energy efficient. We have to attack it both ways. A one-two punch that community members can also be a part of. Going back to one thing Sweet said, how much sea level rises in the back half of this century is up to us. In Alexandria, Justin Hinton, 7 News.